All right, everybody, welcome back. So by popular demand, the most meta jet in War Thunder is back. Now, I did want to go ahead and cover this right now because the F-14B actually got announced yesterday. We may be seeing a shift in the meta next patch, who knows? But for now, at least, the MiG-29 is still 100% meta. Uh, there is no doubt about that. Now, my F-14 video was very popular. I posted recently, and I called it the king of BVR, which is true. Now technically does not have the best BVR missiles in the game. Uh, those are the R27ERs, which I'm using right now. Uh, one of the big advantages they have is Datalink. You can see right here, I fired it without a solid radar lock and just let it fly, and then I relocked onto him later on whenever he came back. And the funny thing is, because this thing has Datalink, it's able to sync up with the radar and see what it's looking at. So it's targeting back on that F-14 right now. You see him spewing off Phoenixes, and he's about to die which is incredibly funny, especially because if you can do this right, if you time it right, you're able to lock them like three to four seconds before it hits. Now, I don't like to risk it, which is why I lock a lot sooner quick most of the time, but just keep that in mind. Now, the big thing of the R27ER is incredibly fast. Now, one thing if you want to try and use that to your advantage, you can see what I do is I use that massive circle that you get to fire the missile off in, and I aim it up in the air, which lets it go into thinner air, go a little bit quicker. You can see right here, I'm actually jousting with my friend Jake. Uh, he went ahead and fired at the same time as doing the name 7M. You can see a little smoke trail going right there. And you can see he's still well over 20 kilometers away from me. He's he's going evasive. He's turning towards me, trying to avoid the missile. And he's still going to eat it. This missile is just excellent. Here's another joust with a, another F-14 using my R-27ER. Now this time, I believe I'm actually going to hold the lock the entire time because he wasn't really actively attempting to notch me now while we're waiting for the missile to go you can see in the top right it says track pull stoppler head on at these longer ranges you're going to be wanting to use your pull stoppler head on mode so the the mig-29 gets two different radar modes it gets pull stoppler and pull stoppler head pull stoppler is a medium prf mode which is better with those kind of side aspect or rear aspect locks the head on mode is for head-ons of course it's better at longer ranges and it's just generally more powerful but it is easier to notch now, one really nice thing is just like the F-14, you can switch lock types. And not just while you're in search mode, but while you're actually locked onto them. So I can switch to normal pull stopper mode right now while maintaining the lock, which is huge. Because if someone starts to notch you, you can switch into the other pull stopper mode. And a lot of the time, it'll maintain the lock. <sighs> now, the only really huge thing that's holding back the MiG-29 right now is the radar. So it is a good radar, don't get me wrong but it has a maximum lock range of only 60 kilometers. And you can see I immediately lock this guy up as soon as he gets to 60, and the missile still has plenty of range. Um, this, this unfortunately is nothing you can, you can do about it. Right now, at least, the R27ER just outranges the MiG-29's radar. Now, I've heard that in real life, uh, it was able to fire it outside of that typical lock range, and then once the missile gets closer, the MiG-29's radar would automatically spike it with a hard lock just to, make, to guide it in for the last little bit. I don't know if that is 100% true. That is just what I've read. Uh, I can't find any actual sources for it, so don't quote me on that. But even in game, you're going to be able to compete in BVR with pretty much everything. It's just that unlike the F-14, you don't have six of these. You only have two. So there's going to be a lot of the time when you unfortunately waste one, and that's going to be it. These missiles are very sensitive. Uh, they're very good in rear aspect because of that. And I'm actually able to shoot a missile out of the air right here with it, which I don't normally see happening with with a lot of radar missiles like i can tell that it's a missile when i lock it because it won't actually lock onto it but either i splashed a missile right there or that was a ufo i'm really not 100 percent sure now once you get past those bbr engagements you get into the dogfight, and that's where the making nine really shines its ability to turn i'm going mach 1.4 right now and i'm still hitting 12 to 13 g's the f-16 will be struggling here you'd be hitting 10 maybe 11 if you were in the block 10s or you know the nets you're not going to be hitting 12 or 13 like this thing is right here you can get this thing up to 15 g sometimes which is incredibly impressive so this right here is just your typical battle i'm going to be firing it you know going and lobbing it up in the air i'm going to let this missile go ahead and guide in with these bigger maps i highly recommend you at least try doing some bvr if you're just rushing straight in and not using the capability of the missile for longer range then what's the point of having it in the first place at least that's the way i see it uh, and you still have your R60Ms for your close-up dogfights later on, so you're not really going to have to worry about that. But you can see, if they do start to notch, what you can do is you can try and point your nose in the opposite direction. 
so that way it keeps them coming more towards you. You can see if I was just having my nose pointed straight at him, he would be notching me right now. But because my nose is pointed off to the right, it's more of an angle instead. So I'm able to hold my lock and the radar has plenty of gimbals. So they don't really have to worry about it. I was looking, I would say probably 70 degrees off to my left and still had no issues whatsoever. And the R27ER is not going to care. Essentially, if you can get a lock, it, it's going to guide most of the time. This missile is like actually insane. Uh, it's, it's probably overkill, to be honest, to be added to the MiG-29, but I mean, hey, I'm not complaining. I love this missile. So <laughs> you can see the F-14 is finally going to burn out. It took him a while, but I did manage to secure that kill. And then now we get to jump into the fun part. This is where the MiG-29 really shines. The combination of HMD with the MiG-29's flight performance and the gun, because I still think this is the best gun at top tier, just really lets the MiG-29 shine in a dogfight. Especially if it gets R-73's next patch, which would be very nice. We'll have to see. If we're getting F-14B, I, I don't see why we wouldn't be able to get the, uh, <laughs> the R-73 to go along with it. Now, you see I'm being very ambitious with these R-60Ms. They are very capable in a dogfight. But they are still very flare happy and they're not going to hit some of these i just like throwing them out because it'd be very funny if they do get a hit don't expect shots like this to hit now rear aspect r27 er's you can't expect them to hit very often now he wasn't chaffing so this isn't a very fair example but this thing still did guide very well in rear aspects so i figured i'd show it a lot of the time with the, you know, the sparrows they do have more of an issue with that now, like I said, you are going to be fighting other MiG-29s uh, because this is the most meta jet in the game right now, and even the German ones. So you do got to keep in mind the German one is slightly lighter than the Russian one. Uh, now, the Soviet one has more fuel to compensate for that, which, how big these maps are, is a pretty nice advantage, but you do at least got to keep that in mind. So Now, what I'm going to do to go ahead and take out the German MiG-29 is I'm going to use the instructor to my advantage. So for those of y'all who don't know, you see how it says instructor right here on the bottom left below my engine temperatures? Uh, that's what actually goes ahead and controls the aircraft when you're mousing. Right? It you know, usually uh, allows you to have greater stability. It's why you don't really have flat spins and other stuff like that. The problem is in some aircraft like the Mi-29 at lower speeds, it kind of restricts how hard you're able to pull. So what I did right there is I switched into full realistic mode and I pulled as hard as I could. Now let me cut inside the Mi-29 and get inside its turn circle. And then I was able to switch back into mouse aim and just go back to normal. Then I'm able to take out the, the current S2000 because his airframe is third generation. I'm fourth generation. I just outperform him in every regard. And that's a nice easy crit. And he's going to go ahead and go down here in a second when I finish him off. I'm really excited to see what next patch has to offer when it comes to the meta. And if you liked what you seen today, please don't just click away and go ahead and subscribe. I'm trying to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of the July. So it really helped me out. And you get to see more of my videos, as long as you enjoy them, of course. So, hope I'll see y'all next time, and uh, peace, y'all.